Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back today to share one more way that you can decorate your June 2019 sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around and see what I create. Thanks so much for coming back by today. I have received lots of thumbs up and comments and compliments about the very first sheet load of cards which I shared yesterday here on my YouTube channel. If you have not seen that video yet, I will make sure to link it at the end of the video and in the description box below. But so many of you are enjoying the idea of building your card stash quickly and easily. And the good thing is, if you're a subscriber of mine, you have access to my two-page PDF file for free. So make sure you wait until the end of the video and find out how you can get a hold of it. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I had lots of technical difficulties and I actually ended up making three sets of the cards. I didn't get completely finished on the first two, so what I thought I would do is come back this week and kind of show you other ideas of how you can add die cuts or embellishments to change the cards up and make them like you want them. In front of me are the 12 card bases that I made along with my white sentiment strips and the leftover pattern paper from cutting the background. Make sure to always keep this because you can use it later for die cutting and adding to your cards. Before I get started on the decorating, I'm gonna show you some of the supplies that I'll be using. Besides the leftover pattern paper from cutting the cards and the cards themselves, this is mainly what I will be using to decorate the cards. Later, I might pull out some gems or enamel dots, but I'm not sure yet, so I just left them alone. For the main focal point, I am going to be using these three sets from Illustrated Faith. I saw these at Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago, and I think all the stamps were 40% off, so I had to have them. I just love these ladies here. I think they're going to make cute kind of girl power cards. And also that same day I found the sentiment stamps that I'll be using. This is a Momenta set from Hobby Lobby. I just like the brush script on these and they're smaller so they're going to fit on those sentiment tags. I also picked up these two wooden stamps. You're pretty awesome and she believed she could so she did. I thought that went really well with the images. It's kind of hard to see, but I do have a piece of, or a scrap of vellum here that I will be using. I got out my VersaFine Onyx Black for my sentiments, and then I got out Stays on Jet Black for this stamping onto the vellum. Let's go ahead and see how I'm going to decorate these today. The first thing I'm going to do is get all of my sentiments stamped and I am changing the sketch up just a little bit and that is the great thing about sheet load. You can move this stuff around, flip it upside down, turn it on its side. Instead of, like the sketch shows, aligning my sentiment block on the right side, I'm actually going to turn that around, align it on the left so the fishtail is on the right. The first stamp I chose to use is Celebrate from the Momenta Sentiment Stamp Set. I will be using the VersaFine Onyx Black. I'm going to do three of each saying. And here is a look at all 12 of my sentiment tags stamped. I use the wood blocks for You're Pretty Awesome, and she believed she could, so she did. And then I also use Thank You from this stamp set. For my main focal point, I'm going to be doing some paper piecing using stamps. This is something I used to love to do all the time, and I haven't done it in a while, so I decided to go ahead and do it today on these cards. I will be stamping four of the women in the stays on black onto the scrap of vellum. Now, 
although this stays on dries pretty quickly, I am going to go ahead and set this to the side while I stamp the parts for the paper piecing. I will be using the VersaFine Onyx Black to stamp the shirt part of each of the ladies that I chose onto these pattern papers. Since I stamped three of each of these, I'm going to stamp one on each of these patterns. I'm going to do my best to only ink up the shirt part because that is all that I'll be using on that final image. So you'll see I just stamped the shirt on there. I will continue to do that with the other four images. And now it is time to do a whole bunch of cutting. So I'll show you how I paper piece one of the girls. The rest I'll do off camera and I'll come back and show you the finished product. I'm just going to rough cut the first lady out of vellum and then I'm going to rough cut one of her shirts out of the pattern paper. I am going to do my best to get right along the black line. I will tell you though I'm not going to keep this stuff that's sticking out. I'm just going to pretend like it was just a straight line up there. If you're enjoying this video and this series, I hope you'll give my video a thumbs up. If this is your first time to my channel and you're interested in knowing when I upload more videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, thanks again for stopping back by. I think you know how much I appreciate you. I will go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of these and I'll be back. Now that all my pieces have been cut out, I'll show you how I'm going to put each of these together. I will be using my ATG gun and I will just put a little bit, a couple strips of adhesive on the back of each shirt and then this will get placed on top of the vellum piece. Later when I go to adhere these pieces onto the card, the pattern paper will allow me to have some place to put adhesive on the back of my vellum and then to keep the head in place I will probably go ahead and add a gem that I'll put a glue dot behind. Let me know below when is the last time you did paper piecing with stamps and if you haven't ever done it, let me know that too and I hope that you'll give it a try. It is pretty fun. It's a nice easy way to add color to a stamped image. If you're not a big colored pencil person or marker person, Before I can put my ladies onto the cards, I want to go ahead and adhere all of the sentiment strips onto the green piece. The next step is to put my ladies onto my cards and what I'll do is just put some adhesive at the bottom behind where the shirt is and then I will adhere her where she is overlapping the sentiment tag just a little bit and you'll see her head is coming up but I will fix that later. 
And for right now, I am matching the shirt with the paper in the background. To add some more stability to this or a little bit more adhesive, I'm going to be using little glue dots and I'm going to place them behind the image where I think I might put a gem or an enamel dot. These glue dots are just left over from paper pumpkin kits. They always send you some extra so they come in very handy. Just lift up the vellum my glue dot down there. Now you'll see that doesn't come up, it doesn't flop up like it did. I pulled out a couple different sets of enamel dots. I thought maybe the pink on this sheet would look good and then the sparkly green from this sheet. So as I go along, I'll try to figure out which I think might look nicer on the cards and I'll just start adding these right where the glue dots are. After I put one of the enamel dots in the hair, I decided to go back in and put a couple more in that same color on the card just to have that odd or that rule of three with my embellishments. Again, if you enjoyed this look at how I decorated a sheet load in a different way, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. If you would like to download the file for use of your own, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. We're just going to go by the honor system. In the very bottom of the description box below, I have a link to a PDF file. You should be able to click on it and then open it, print it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.